Christmas tonight, baby. I wanna get freaky with you. I love the taste of whipped cream. Hey, spread it on. Don't be mean, baby. Don't be mean. Why would they be mean? If you're spreading whipped cream, you're probably in a good mood because whipped cream makes everybody happy, right? Unless you're lactose intolerant and then you would be like, what are you putting whipped cream on me? If I get that in me, then it's going to be Diarrhea City and, you know, it's over for the sexy time. I'm thinking way too much about this. This is not a good way to start the video. And welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and smash the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video or go live, which I like to do quite often. This series of videos is called Jolene Reacts, where I react to videos you send me. Today's video was sent to me by Emma. Thank you, Emma. I haven't watched the videos that you guys send me. I keep them in my inbox. You can send them to jolinereacts at gmail.com. And then when I'm ready to watch them, I clicky clicky, we watch together and react. Also, you guys follow me on social media at Jolene Lenzer on Twitter, Instagram, and the Tiki Talkie. The title of this video is Mile High Club. So, oh, oh, I wanna get for Ricky with you in the pee bathroom. So let's take a look and have some fun. Plane sounds. Okay. Oh. oh. Oh, I saw another face. I saw a dude in there. Lady just left. I want to go to sleep because that plane sound. Ooh, this guy knows. He set up his camera. He is a pervert. Yes, yes. Okay. He's counting. Oh, here he comes. Oh, my gosh, bro. We got you. We got you. <laughs> This dude totally set his camera up knowing. Okay, she goes in. Fun. Great. Good time. Mm-hmm. Mile high. And he's like, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, boner go down, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. This dude, seven, one thousand, washing my hands and other parts of, and here I go. Ah. Uh <laughs> First and foremost, they make it sound so inviting. The Mile High Club, you're like, oh my God, Mile High and a club, is it exclusive? Yes, it's exclusively for people who don't give a shit about germs because it's disgusting. Bathrooms on planes now have are so small, they're worse than a damn porta potty, they stink. I'm terrified after watching Catch Me If You Can that someone's gonna climb up out of there and just be like, hey, <laughs> I'm running from Tom Hanks. So no, I don't know how two people, I mean, those were smaller people, um, but how you even get, you'd have to put one leg up here and then the sinks always clogged somehow because there's not a lot of good drainage on the plane. And then there's always all these extra hand towels just like coming out, pee on the floor. It just always has a stench. How are you hornified in this dirty ass bathroom with the plane sounds? When I get out of plane, the last thing I'm thinking about is fornicating. Okay. I'm thinking about eating peanut M&Ms, trying to go to sleep and hoping I downloaded all the right shows I wanted to on Netflix. So I have something to do while on the plane. Why are people so horny on planes? When did this become a thing? Maybe back did back in the day, did they have fancier bathrooms? You know, because you watch old television shows or you even watch Mad Men and they have those planes where you go up spiral steps and they have a bar. Maybe I've just never lived a really fancy life before. I've never seen that. All I've seen is, you know, people on Delta just like move it along. Let's go get out of here. You know, Sun Country, they used to give you sandwiches full ass sandwiches back in the day. That was nice. Now you're lucky if you get some pretzels and don't ask for another bag of pretzels because they are going to look at you like that wasn't enough. Those four pretzels didn't fill you up. And you're like, no, I'm sorry. I'm a human person. That was, that was nothing. I, that was like eating air. Okay. I mean, you don't get anything on a plane anymore and you definitely don't get any room. The bathroom seems like the worst place to bone on a plane. The, uh, well, there's really no good places to bone. No, it's no, it just wait wherever you're going. You're probably going to a hotel or back to your house, or maybe you just, maybe they just met, maybe they just met. And this is the only time 
they'll ever be able to bone. This is the last time. So they're like, bone, 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 bone. See you later. Are there people that do that? I bet there is. I bet there's a club of people that just get plane tickets and say, hey, I'm, I'm wearing a, a black blouse, <laughs> sleeveless, sexy, with khakis. And he's like, oh, I'm wearing a blue top <laughs> with cargo pants. I'll meet you in the nasty bathroom of Southwest. You know, I mean, ugh, can you imagine? Can you imagine on a spirit? Does spirit even have bathrooms? I've never even flown spirit. I've wanted to, but then I've only heard horror stories before of spirit airlines. They probably charge you to use the restroom because now you, you can't even get a seat without being charged. Remember when you could pick a seat, your ticket, what does your ticket pay for? So there are bigger problems in this video than just people boning and in the bathroom and freaking out my OCD. And I just think of all the poop particles. How can you be sexy when there's poop particles? There's not enough room. They're just, they're everywhere now with COVID. I mean, <laughs> this better be pre COVID because uh, where are their masks? So it's got to be pre cut right? Or it's a uh, anti-masker rally they're going to. It's a Karen flight. Remember when you actually paid for a ticket and the ticket paid for a seat, the ticket paid for a bag? Now, nothing, nothing. You, get, you pay 400, 500 bucks, and they're like, P.S., 50 bucks per bag. Every additional bag, 150 bucks, maybe 35. We don't know. We're just, you know, spitballing. And it better not be over 50 pounds. And if it is we're going to make you take shit out. You know how embarrassing that is to sit there at the airport pulling out how much do my underwear weigh? I don't know. Like, do did I need to bring my journal? I never journal, but for some reason, I always think on a trip, I'm going to journal. No, I'm not reading the four agreements for the fifth time. <laughs> this is silly. You're just pulling stuff out. Your bra comes out. It's always that ratty nude one that you just... <sighs> You don't want anyone to know you wear, but it's your favorite bra and you're married. So it's like, screw you. Why do I have to look fancy? I'm not a Victoria's Secret model. Okay. I mean, I could be if I wanted to. I don't, no, I couldn't. I couldn't be. Okay. I get that, but it's embarrassing. And then your seat, they're like, well, okay, you can uh, pay $500 for this flight. And then you got to pay an extra five bucks to sit by the shitter. Yeah. Where it stinks, where people are going to do mile high stuff. The couple seats up. 10 to 13 bucks, okay? You want exit row? We're talking 30 to 50. Don't even get us started on first class, okay? You probably can't afford it because if you're if you're pricing the back, you can't afford it. It's so ridiculous at this point. They just nickel and dime everything you do. You barely get a free water, like to get like a little apple juice because I never drink apple juice, you know, since I was a kid, but on a plane for some reason, I'm like, apple juice, I need it. It's comforting. And I'm surprised they still give that to you, but they do it begrudgingly. You know, one napkin, here you go, full of ice, full of ice. Sometimes they don't even give you your own can. So I'm just, I'm mad now. I'm mad at airlines <laughs> and I'm mad at these people for doing the nasty where it's nasty. Oh my God, you guys, I just hit my 10,000 steps by moving my arms that much. That's all you have to do. You just have to be mad at the airlines. You can, I was like, why is my wrist going off? It's because I, I was so mad and I'm an animated Midwestern lady and that made me hit my 10,000 steps. So that's a, a life hack. You don't have to walk. You don't have to exercise. You just have to get mad about stuff. Why is the snack box they give you like $32? And again, you get three almonds a couple of cranberries and they're like, ah, throw in some old brie cheese in there. So I have to pay for the seats and the seats are getting smaller. The leg room's getting smaller. And if I want a little bit of leg room, I got to pay an extra 50 bucks and they're like extra leg room. And then you go there and there's no extra leg room. They lie. They literally are selling it saying there's an inch more. There's an inch more. They're just cramming us in to pretty much. We're all going to be having sex with each other on the plane because they're just going to have us on top of each other. It's going to be like the human centipede of Delta. I didn't see that movie. Was that sex? I don't know. I think that this was a fun reaction video, but I definitely went off on tangents. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know what you think about airlines and also what you think about the Mile High Club and have you ever done Mile High stuff? Give this video a thumbs up, you guys. And if you have a video you want me to react to or something on the interweb, send it to JolieneReacts at gmail.com. Follow me on the social media at Jolene Lunzer on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, be better to your genitals. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.